Now, if you're involved in making sales calls, marketing calls, cold calls, whatever kind of calls you want to call them, that's a lot of uses of the word call within that sentence, then you'll be aware that typically receptionists have a fairly fearsome reputation. The word gatekeeper is banded around quite a lot, which to me always conjures up images of some horrible troll-like creature stood guarding the gates of the palace from the evil hordes of cold callers. But the fact of the matter is they're just people doing a job, people like you and me. And I wanted to give you a few tips today on increasing your chances of that receptionist putting the call through to the person you want to speak to. <coughs> Casting aside that horrible image of the evil gatekeeper. So first tip is that people buy from people. Now, you might argue that that only really applies to the final decision maker that you get through to, the person that holds the purse strings. But you are reliant upon every person along that journey through to the uh, final decision maker to buy into the concept of you as a person. So be somebody that they want to put through. People do buy from people. If you're a nice person, if you're polite, if you're pleasant, if you're friendly, if you're appreciative, then you are far more likely to have your call put through. Second tip is to be confident. Not arrogant, but confident in yourself. Sound authoritative. Again, this goes back to being somebody that they're going to want to put through. That if you phone up, um, um, can I, I want to speak to the person that deals with... Uh, blah, 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 that is not going to help you in any way at all. Be confident, be assured of yourself, be assured of the benefits of what it is you are selling. Because again, although the final decision on this sale will come down to the person that holds the purse strings, you will still have to sell what it is you offer to the receptionist because they've got to find a reason to want to put you through. Give them a benefit, give them a reason to. A third tip is to be honest. And I have calls put through to me where somebody will phone up, speak to one of my colleagues. And from the message that I'm given, it sounds as if this person that's phoning me is going to be a customer of mine. Oh, he's calling about a telemarketing campaign. He's interested in this service that we offer, that kind of thing. And then when the call does get put through to me, I find out that that was basically a lie just told to increase their chances of getting put through to me. And yes, the call was put through. But the fact of the matter is, I'm not ever going to want to do business with that person because at this very early stage in the sales process, they've already come across as being dishonest. My fourth tip is to appreciate their time. If you picture a receptionist sat there fielding hundreds of calls a day in a busy office, their main goal is to get rid of those callers that come in. They are constantly firefighting all day. Every time they get rid of a call, another one comes in and that's their day. Now, there's two directions they can send you when they get rid of you. They can send you back to where you came from, which is um, whichever office or wherever you're calling from to them. Or, and this is the preferable situation, they can get rid of you by putting you through to the prospect. But be appreciative of what it is that they're doing. It's a busy job. It can often be stressful. They'll probably have had quite a lot of calls that sound very similar to you during the course of that day. So again, be appreciative of their time and be somebody that they want to put through. And my fifth tip, and this is one that these days there is very little excuse for not implementing, is to have a name of a person that you want to speak to. It immediately devalues your offering if you're phoning up and saying, yeah, I'm looking to speak to the person that deals with your phone systems, please. You're immediately flagging yourself up as a salesperson. The trigger will go off in the receptionist's mind that you're likely to be a pain in the backside and they are not going to put you through. So get on LinkedIn. Have a look around. There's plenty of information out there now at your fingertips. Um, don't have the excuse of the fact that you don't know who it is you want to talk to. Even if you don't know the final decision maker, try and find somebody within that department or somebody that you think might be able to help point you in the right direction. So there you go. Five tips that will hopefully help get you through to the decision maker and past those evil receptionists. They're all just nice people. Treat them pleasantly. Um, know why it is you call in. Be confident. Have a name and uh, you are far more likely to get put through. And if you'd like a reliable 
experienced company that does sales calls day in, day out. We have a process that works. We're helpful. We're friendly. Then get in touch with us. Uh, inspired Business Development, uh, 0330 20 50 500. Thanks for watching.